everyone has a story, and perhaps you would like to share yours. We have the perfect opportunity with the Write Michigan Short Story Contest. This statewide competition put on every year by the Kent District Library, and there are opportunities for both writers and readers to get involved. Amber Elder is the programming specialist with the KDL. Amber, thanks for being here. Well, thanks so much for having me, and so we can talk about Write Michigan. Let's do it. So, Write Michigan, as you mentioned, statewide competition for writers who write short stories. So if you have something 3,000 words or less and you live anywhere in the state of Michigan, you can submit your short story at writemichigan.org. We have three different categories for youth ages five to 10, for um, teens ages 11 to 17 and adults, so 18 years and up. And you can submit your short story and then there will be volunteer reviewers who are gonna be reading these short stories. There are also going to be then the best of those are going to be sent on to judges for review so there's a chance that you can earn um, a cash prize and also have your short story published in one of our um, anthologies love that I mean this is such a cool opportunity for people who are maybe writers already or maybe mm -hmm. want to dip their toe in the water oh definitely you, know? you do not have to be a professional writer at all maybe you just have a story you want to share or maybe your kiddo did something like really cool for school and you want somebody to like see it beyond just teachers because it's just such an interesting story. Anything and everything is welcome so long as it's below 3,000 words. Yeah, and, and the whole state, because you do yes. get entries from all over, from the mm -hmm. UP all the way Detroit, everywhere. Yes, and it's really great. We have um, a couple different partners who are working with us this year. The Michigan Learning Channel, um, Canton Public Library, and also the Capital Area District Libraries are all okay. partnering with us on okay. this. So they're promoting it. But yeah, if you are in the Iron Mountain region, if you are in Kalamazoo, if you're in Traverse City or Ann Arbor, any of those places, you can submit a story. Wonderful. Um, you also don't have to be a full-time Michigan resident. Okay. So if you are a snowbird or say your grandkids live with you for the summer, you are still welcome to submit stories, which is wonderful. Wonderful. Now there is a time frame. So there what's is. the deadline? So November 30th is when we need to get your short story in. So we need plenty of time for our volunteer reviewers. And if you're interested in, as you said, reading yeah. rather than writing, we would love to have more volunteer reviewers. Um, you can go to writemichigan.org as well. So you can learn how you can sign up and you can sign up for a specific age group and for a time that works for you to review those. So we have different slots. So if you're saying, oh, I want to review teens, but I've got a lot of stuff going on for the holiday season, so I'm only available in like early December to review, we've got time slots available for you to do that. Wonderful. And any requirements or anything to be a reviewer? No, you just have to love to read and be able to provide some thoughtful feedback because that's the other nice thing about this. Writers who submit their stories can choose to have that feedback sent back to them so that they can, you know, improve their craft if they want to. And and so you have to be able to say, like, here are the great things I love about your story. Here are maybe some things to improve in the future if you want. I love so that. just something very gentle, very kind. And so it's a great nurturing place for both reviewers and for the writers themselves. Yeah. And how big of a deal is it to end up being published here? I mean, where are people gone from this? It is so cool. There are people who, you know, students are still just going to be continuing to work on their craft as students, but also it's a great thing to say, put on your college applications and also people who have been published um, you can purchase these uh, Schuler's books from Schuler's books you can purchase these copies of the anthology yeah. you can give them to people and you can also say hey magazine that I want to write for I've been published in this thing yeah. so it's a great thing to have on your resume as well wonderful and there's money there is money. <laughs> like, we yes. have to talk about this yes. perhaps <laughs> the most important part is um so the top six finalists for all categories are going to be published in our anthology mm -hmm. and then the judges choice winners are going to receive five hundred dollars the judges um second choice their runner-ups are going to receive two hundred fifty dollars and there's also a public vote on the semi-finalists um, and so the Reader's Choice winners will also win $250. Man, good reasons so, to enter. Get it so in. So many great things to expand your experience, to have fun, and potentially earn some cash, which are great. Love it. All right, let's get those entries in. You have until November 30th. It is free for kids and teens, 10 bucks for adults. WriteMichigan.org, all the information you need to know right there. We'll be right back. Are you interested?